All right, stick stickly, welcome back. And in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning how to actually gather links. I know that this video series is pretty much a program on how to crawl a website and gather all of the links. But up to this point, we are in our fifth tutorial and we haven't gathered one link yet. So let's just go ahead and take care of that right now. So I'm gonna make a new file and I'll name it a uh, link finder. And we're actually going to create a brand new class. And this is going to be responsible for taking a look at some HTML, sifting through it, and I'll show you guys. Let me inspect this. So we're basically going to give all of this HTML over whatever website, and it's going to sift through it and find all of the links, all of the A tags. Now, that sounds like a lot of work, right? We got to write a bunch of custom parsing and weird functionality. Lucky for us, Python already comes with a class called HTML parser, and it does like 90% of this for us. So let's just go ahead and import it. And if you write HTML parser, import HTML parser. Now we also need to import from URL lib, import parse, and check this out. So essentially, this is a generic HTML parser. In other words, it can take a look at a bunch of HTML code and sift through it but we are going to need to add some custom functionality to it pretty much just add some more features to it so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class called a link finder and we are going to inherit from html parser so html parser and that way we get all of the functionality of html parser plus we can write whatever sweet methods we want so the first thing i'm going to do is just write my initializer so dunder in it double underscore in it and I just need to call the super classes initialization method. So super in it. And we also need to implement abstract methods. And there's one here called error. And that's just the rules. It said, hey, whenever you inherit from me, you also need to implement this method. So anytime you get an error, I know what to do. But we're not going to get any errors. Actually, we probably will. But there you go. So that's the core basics of it. So again, now we can start adding our own custom functionality to it. Now, before we do, I just want to show you how this works right now. So in HTML parser, there is a method called handle start tag. Now, whenever this starts parsing HTML, this method or function is going to be called, well, I guess it's a method since it's inside a class, it's going to be called whenever it comes across a start tag. So HTML start, it's going to call it right there. And you see, I say that because it's only going to call it on the start tags. So it's going to call it on this tag, but not this tag. I know that might be a little small to read on YouTube, but this is the beginning head tag and this is the ending head tag. So what we want to do is let's say for this link, we are only worried about this method because the URL is in the start tag right here. This ending tag, it just tells you where all the crap ends. It, there's no information in here that we need. So we need to worry about that method right there. So you can just use it by default. By default, it doesn't do anything. So we're gonna go ahead and override it. And it's called handle start tag right there. So what can I do by default? Let me just go ahead and uh, print, I'll just print out the tag. All right. So let me go ahead and we'll keep this demo real quick before we start adding a bunch of cool stuff to it. So I'll say link, uh, let me name it finder. Finder equals link finder and finder. So this is how it's gonna work. First you make a link finder object which is basically a HTML parser. And then you call a function called feed. Now this feed function is pretty simple. All you do is you put in some HTML right here and the rest it takes care of automatically. So it starts running all of these functions. So again, all I did is I took some HTML and I just got this from the Python website, but eventually we're gonna actually pass in the HTML from whatever page we're crawling and check it out. So you see that anytime it comes across a start tag, HTML, head, title, body, h1, 
all I did is I had it print out that tag. So HTML, head, title, body, h1. So that's pretty useless for our example because we're looking for links. We really don't care, care about HTML, header, title. So how do we say, hey, that function is the one we're looking for, but we just care about those links. Well, what we can do is this. 